All right, so now we're going to do a, a quick overview of um, how to find these uh, resources and information for sublevel three of Newton's Laws modules, unbalanced forces. All right, so the objectives of uh, sublevel three is that the student should be able to relate the state of motion of an object, especially the direction of acceleration, to the magnitudes of the individual forces acting upon it, and the student should be able to relate the net force of an object to the acceleration of an object. And uh, if we open up to questions and then hit on this little uh, hints book, uh, we'll see that the first uh, question on here that's also on the sheet with uh, some diagrams is that the diagrams below depict the individual forces acting upon an object. Each arrow represents uh, force and length of the arrow represented by size of the force. Uh, based on this information, which objects could be moving to the right at a constant speed? At a constant speed means it's not accelerating and that means that there's balanced forces. So box number two is the only one that's uh, balanced uh, on all sides. All right? Box number one uh, is unbalanced, box number three is unbalanced, and box number four is unbalanced. So only box number two could go in any direction with a constant speed. All the other ones are accelerating in some direction. All right? So now the next one says uh, the oil drop uh, diagram uh, below depicts the motion of a rightward moving uh, object. Which type of force diagram would be consistent with this oil diagram? Well, you can see this right here. Uh, here are the uh, diagrams. Uh, here is the oil diagram. And here are the um, boxes that we have. This is uh, an object that is uh, um, moving to the right, right? It's rightward moving. And it's also, we see the acceleration is to the right. So we see uh, this one here is uh, decelerating to the right because the force is to the left. And this object here is accelerating to the right because the force is greater on the right. Also, C is accelerating to the right because the force is greater on the right. This is a constant motion because it's balanced, so it's not accelerating. And this one is a constant motion because it's balanced, so it's not accelerating. So we see, uh, we see a car. This could be slowing down. If it was moving rightward, it would be slowing down. If a car hit its brakes, maybe that would be box A. Uh, this one we see an object that's, uh, that's, that might have friction, but it's, it has a greater force to the right, so it's accelerating or changing its velocity greater to the right. This one we also see the same thing, but maybe it's on ice or frictionless surface, all right? so it's going to the right because it's the only force acting on it. This one could be something like a bowling ball rolling down a hall, where it's already in motion, or maybe it's at rest. Uh, but it's in a constant state of motion, all right? So we have gravity and we have normal force acting on it, just like with this paper, all right? And it's not, it's not moving. It's, it's maintaining its state of rest or its state of motion. A bowling ball would only have the normal force and, um, and the uh, normal force upward and the gravitational force downward because of the fact that the bowling ball has very little friction and a lot of inertia. Uh, so D could be a, a bowling ball or it could be an object on ice. If we push something on ice, uh, it would already have its uh, push, and then we let it go. It would only have normal force and gravitational force acting on it. And this could be something that is moving uh, at uh, a constant velocity, such as a car, where you have as, just as much um, acceleration, or you have just as much uh, gas being pushed through as the friction. So it doesn't accelerate. Uh, it just maintains that constant speed in a constant direction, right? So um, for that answer, we would pick uh, A would be the one that shows uh, a rightward moving object that's accelerating to the right, right? The next question says um, an upward moving elevator. So let's take a look at this. Uh, an upward moving elevator uh, is slowing down, right? Which of the following uh, force diagrams would be represented? In that one, we would see uh, A would be uh, an elevator that's moving up, uh, but it has only downward force. So its upward motion is decelerating because only the force of gravity is acting on it. Um, so it's moving up, but it's slowing down. So A would be the choice. Uh, this B has balance forces up and down. So B would uh, have uh, forces that are in constant motion. It wouldn't be slowing down or speeding up. Hey, we're taping over here. Hello? We're taping, we're videotaping over here. Go on, shoot. All right, here we go. Uh, and then Bronco, Bronco Billy, the skydiver, pulls a cord in his parachute, and the net force acts upon it. 
Bronco Billy and his parachutes are shown in the diagram below. There's two diagrams. In one, the forces are balanced, which means he is more than likely falling towards the earth, but he's falling at a constant speed because the air resistance equals the force of gravity. In the second picture, B, we have, uh, right after he pulls his chute, we have greater air resistance than the force of gravity because he was going at some, at some speed, uh, probably his terminal velocity or close to it, and then when he pulled his parachute, the air resistance was greater uh, than the force of gravity at that point, so he begins to slow down. So the force of gravity is still downward. His force of acceleration is upward, but that means that he's decelerating as he goes down. All right? So his force of acceleration, his acceleration uh, vector is pointed upwards, but that just means that he's going slower and slower as he falls downward. All right? um, but he wouldn't be moving upward more than likely uh, right after he pulled his chute because then his arms would get ripped off and he'd die. And he wouldn't come to a complete stop because that would be like hitting concrete and you would die. So uh, hopefully parachutes are made to be safe and also fun and affordable. All right, so the next question says uh, a three kilogram object, all right, uh, a three kilogram object is moving to the right at a constant velocity of two meters per second, all right. Uh, which of the following horizontal forces is, re is required? Uh, so at a constant velocity, if, so if a constant velocity motion is observed, then there must be balance forces or overall uh, net force, okay? We have an object moving along a level surface with a constant velocity. The net force acting upon it must be balanced, must be balanced. Here's a true or, or false. If a moving object or rightward experiences an unbalanced force, then the object will have acceleration. That is true. All right, so an object uh, that's moving, or a moving object experiences unbalanced forces, then it has acceleration, and that's very true.